Many teachers use success criteria for projects and writing assignments. Today, I will show you how you can use Google Keep, which is in the Google suite of apps, to put success criteria checklists within student writing or projects. So the first thing you're going to do will go up, be to go up to your little waffle grid. You're going to click on that. And you're going to scroll down a little bit further and you're going to see the Keep app, and that is yellow with a light bulb. So when you click on that, it'll take you to Google Keep. I already have a couple in my Google Keep at this point. Um, I have one ready to go to put in. I want to show you how to make one on your own. So the first thing you do is, if I want to put a list in, which is what I want to do for success criteria, I am going to click on New List. They have a list item here. So if I am doing an eighth grade essay, for example, I might start with, I have an introductory paragraph. That's one thing that students may need. Um, I have a thesis statement in my introduction. So this is where you're going to keep putting those items that you want to see in those projects or essays. You want to title it so you'll have that in your keep and you'll know exactly what it is. So I'm going to put essay success criteria number two because I already put one down below. So now I have this. You can even for your own um, purposes, change the color of it so you can see it differently from the other ones. Um, when I go in to do my activities, I might want the success criteria right up at the top of my Google, Google Keep. So what you're going to do, and I'm going to use the one I already wrote out, you're going to go here, you're going to click the little pin, and you click pin note. So now it's going to be at the top of your Keep feed. Now I'm in the document. There's no writing on it. I'm just using an example doc. And I'm going to pretend that this is a student's essay. So I'm going over to the right hand side toolbar. I'm going to click on the yellow tab with the light bulb. And now here's my success criteria. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say to myself, does this student have an introductory paragraph? And let's say they do. And that pops down below. Um, and they have a thesis statement as well. And let's see, they do have a concluding paragraph. Now what you'll do is you're going to click on the three dots and you're going to put add to document. When it pops into your document, the student will see the same thing that you do. So you are listing that the student does have a concluding paragraph, they do have a thesis statement, and they do have an introductory paragraph. The ones that are not crossed off, the student knows, oh my gosh, I need to make sure that I have these in my essay or my project, depending on what you're doing. Before you get out of the student's essay, you want to uncheck your items so that it's fresh and new for the next student that you're going in to um, assess their activity. Students can edit this, but this is to benefit the student, to let them know this is what they you know, need to accomplish when they're doing this. And you know that you can go into version history by hitting file and then version history and click here. And you'll see the version history if it was deleted. So if you knew that you put the success criteria on that document, you'd be able to see that here if it was deleted. You could also teach students to highlight when they know they've added it. So maybe they're going to go over those words and they'll go to the highlighter and they're going to push green because they worked on that. So it's a nice way to keep track of what students already have in their essays or projects. And a nice way for students to see what they still need to put in. Let's go to the student view. So if I go over to this student's document, it looks exactly like what I have on my document. 